Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Deathbot from 32 Academy. Let's read the question together. Let a1, a2, a3, basically this are the sequence of real number in a ge geometric progression. And then they let Sn is equal to a1 plus a2 all the way until an. So what it means here is Sn is the sum of the first n terms all right, for any integers n that is greater than or equal to 1. So assume that S10 is equal to 10. So what it means is A1 plus A2 all the way until A10 is equal to 10. And S30 is 70. So A1 plus A2 all the way until A33 is equal to 70. The question asks us to find the value of S40. Alright, so how to approach this question? This is an algebra type of question with the topic focused on geometric progression. Let's try together. So as we already know, geometric progression, it has a common ratio. So let R be the common ratio. Okay. So that means that Sn, which is equal to A1 plus A2 plus all the way until An. If I take A1 as a factor, A1 I take a1 as a factor, so it's only one left. And then a2, that a2 is in fact equal to a1 times r, correct? So if you take a1 as a factor, r that is left. Similarly, the next term is multiplied by r, so it's r squared, all the way until the last term, which is a n. Notice that a n is equal to a1 multiplied by r to the power n minus 1. Alright, so if you take a1 as a factor, that means r to the power a1, n minus 1 is left. So let me erase this out. Okay, so what we mean by this is, remember, s10 is 10, so I can use that. So 10, when n is 10, s10 is 10. a1 is here, 1 plus r plus r square all the way until R, when n is 10, so that means that n minus 1 is 9. Okay, and we know the other value is s30 is equal to 70. So that means that when n is equal to 30, s30 is 70. So this is a1 multiplied by 1 plus r plus r squared plus dot 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 all the way until r. And now it's 30, remember, minus 1, so that is 29. Okay, so what do I have here? That means that if I take... Um, okay, on the other hand, also, 1 plus r plus r square all the way until r to the power of 29. This, in fact, is I can write it as a factor of 1 plus r all the way until to the power of 9 okay 1 plus r to the power of 10 plus r to the power of 20 notice that if you expand it out this one multiply this it will be 1 plus r plus all the way until r to the power of 9 right so it will be 1 all the way until the power of 9 if you expand the r to the power of 10 to this, that will continue. Notice, r to the power of 10 onwards all the way until the 19, r to the power of 19. And then r to the power of 20, multiply this, it will continue the 20 all the way until the 29. So in fact, these two expression is equal to each other. Okay, so why do I need to do that? I know the value of all of this, so 1 plus r plus all the way to r to the power of 29 that is what 70 divided by a1 correct so let's just write it as 70 divided by a1 here 
1 plus r all the way until r to the power of 9 that is 10 over a1 and then multiply by 1 plus r to the power of 10 plus r to the power of 20. Let's simplify this. So I can cancel the r1 out, all right? And then 70 and 10, it will be a 7. So that means it's a 7 is equal to 1 plus r to the power of 10 plus r to the power of 20. Shift the 7 to the other side, r to the power of 10. So it's a minus 7, so it's a minus 6 equal to 0. This is in fact just quadratic equation, all right? So, or in fact, you can factorize this r to the power of 10 minus 2 r to the power of 10 plus 3 is equal to 0. So r to the power of 10 is either 2 or a negative 3, all right? But r to the power of 10, the power is even, so it cannot be negative number, so you reject the negative 3. So r to the power of 10 is 2. All right, keep that in mind. Remember what we want to find. We want to find s for a. s for a would be equal to a1. All right. Multiplied by 1 plus r plus r square all the way until r to the power of 39. All right. So let me shift this up. That means that this, I can write, keep a1 as what it is, 1 plus r r square all the way until r to the power of 9 okay multiplied by 1 plus r to the power of 10 plus r to the power of 20 and plus r to the power of 30 this would be similar argument to this line that i said just now okay substitute the number in a1 plus the 1 plus r all the way to r9 that is a 10, all right? That's, in fact, it's an S10. Multiplied by 1 plus, what is R to the power of 10? We just found that it is equal to 2, this part, okay? So 2, this is, will be 2 square, and this will be 2 to the power of 3. So in fact, if you simplify this at the end, you get 150. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.